Sophia, I want to send my birthday party online invitations to some of my friends. But it is very tedious to type letters to all my friends. What should I do? Why don't you use the mail merge feature of Word that allows you to merge your main document with all the addresses very quickly? Mail merge? How can it be used in Word 2016? Please tell me about this. Sure, Romy. Let us learn about this. There are three basic steps for creating a merged document. Step 1. Creating a main document. Step 2. Specifying a data source. Step 3. Merging the data source with the main document. The procedure of combining the main document with the data source is called merging and the final document after merging is called the merged document. Performing mail merge. To perform a mail merge, first we create a new document which we want to send to different people in Word 2016. There are six main steps to a mail merge. Before we start these main steps, let us start the mail merge application of Word 2016. The steps to start mail merge are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Mailings tab and in the Start Mail Merge group, click on the Start Mail Merge option. A drop-down list appears. Step 2. Click on the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. A mail merge task pane will appear on the right side of the Word window. The process of merging data source with the main document involves the following six steps. Step 1. Selecting the document type. Step 2. Selecting the starting document. Step 3. Selecting recipients of the form letter. Step 4. Writing the letter and inserting merge fields. Step 5. Previewing the merged letters. Step 6. Printing the letters. Let us learn about these steps one by one. Selecting the document type. The mail merge task pane first asks us to specify the type of main document we will use for the mail merge. Click on the letters. Now click on Next, then go to Starting Document at the bottom of the task pane. Selecting the Starting Document. Click on Use the Current Document option under Select Starting Document section. Now click on Next. Select Recipients at the bottom of the task pane. Selecting Recipients. After choosing the document type, we need to select the data source under Select Recipients. If we have already created a data list, then we will click on Use an existing list. If we want to select the data list from our Outlook, then we need to click on Select from Outlook Contacts. If we want to type a fresh list, then we will click on Type a new list. We click on Create for typing a new list. We will get a new address list dialog box. In the new address list dialog box, we click on Customize Columns button to add or remove the fields. This opens a Customize Address List dialog box. We make our own address list by adding and deleting the field names by using the Add and Delete buttons. We can also rename the field names by using the Rename button. After adding and deleting the field name, we click on OK to close the Customize Address List dialog box. The new address list dialog box will open. We then type all the details of the recipients in the new address list dialog box. Next, we click on the new entry button to enter the other recipients. When the list is completed, we click on OK to close this dialog box. The save address list dialog box will open. We select a location to save the file. Enter a name in the file name box and then click on the save button. The Mail Merge Recipients dialog box opens, displaying the list of recipients that will be used in the merge. When we finish selecting recipients, click on OK button. Then we click on Next, write your letter at the bottom of the task pane. Writing letter and inserting merge fields. Type a letter or open an existing letter and merge the fields. 
We click on the next preview your letters at the bottom of the task pane. Previewing the merged letter. Before actually performing the mail merge, preview the merged document and check for formatting and spelling errors. If an error is found in the main document, correct it. In addition, correct any errors in the data source. To preview the next merge data, click on On the Mail Merge pane. Now click on the Next. Complete the merge link to go to Step 6 of the Mail Merge Wizard. Printing the letters. In this step, click on Print. To take printouts of all the letters or click on Edit Individual Letters for further changes. Save the merged letters using the Ctrl plus S keys for future use. To print all the documents, click on All option to print the document that we see in the Document window. Click on the Current Record option and to print a range of documents, click on the form and then type the records numbers in the From and To boxes. Dictionary Mail Merge it allows the users to create a large number of documents from a single template form and a data source. Let's refresh. Mail Merge is a word processor feature. Mail Merge also helps a single person to send a single email to a group of different people. We can also open an existing letter in Word 2016 that we want to send through Mail Merge. We need to create recipients list to send it to the recipients. If we want to check the data we inserted, is picked from the right source or not, we can view and check it. After the letter is ready, we can print it.